Tonight was, you know, not the style that you sort of have played the past few games. It was very physical from Tasmania. You didn't really play the pace that you wanted. Um, is that sort of the type of basketball you're looking for? Yeah, uh, uh, definitely in the first half we played to Tasmania's game plan and they did a hell of a job with it. You know, it was a, 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 a I don't want to say the word wrestle in a sense that, you know, but they slowed us down, right? Um, and then even at the end, you know, we didn't score in the last four minutes, 50 seconds, right? So, um, you know, credit to Tassie because they, they took the wind out of our sails. We had a couple of little runs, um, you know, but for the most part, even then, you know, like, you know, we get a little bit of a run on. Um, Tassie did something to counter it, whether it be defensively or on the offensive end. Um, and it just seemed to be well-timed, um, you know, momentum shifts back in their favour. So, you know, yeah, that's uh, that's one that we're going to need to work on. You know, it was from the lowest scoring first half of the season for you guys to Jarano coming off the bench, providing a spark, hitting a couple of threes. The guy shot 27% all year. You know, that, that's got to be amazing for a guy like that to, you know, you can rely on someone off the bench to come and bring you energy. We know Taj does it all the time, but to have Jarano be able to provide that too has been great. Yeah, because... Tazzy were really doing a good job of plugging up the middle. Um, you, you know, they were up on the ball. Uh, we, we couldn't really shift it from one side to the other as much as we liked. So, sort of like we did with Lat the other day, um, with Jonah tonight was just to see if we can stretch it a little bit, knowing he can get on the rebounds, uh, knowing that he can uh, switch out, which was what we're trying to do. But, uh, you know, I know he's, he's had a shot great this year, but um, he is a shooter. So, um, you know, he felt very natural out there uh, putting up those shots, and it was great to see him drop. Tasmania could be a potential finals matchup, who knows, you know, in a few weeks. But did you like the way you guys handled that sort of tonight with that sort of intensity? Well, look, it's it's a combination of things that we're sort of navigating as well. You know, we definitely want to, don't want to look too far ahead in terms of how semi-finals are. Um, but you know, the big part of tonight, right, was obviously get the win, but we needed to integrate Keanu back in. Um, there's a little bit of touch that he needs to re-establish. Um, you know, we subbed him in for that stretch again in the fourth. Um, we're up three and you know there's a couple of errors on him on the defensive end I'm not trying to put it all on him right but you know Magne rolls uh, Taj and Bull both collapse into tag the shooter and McVeigh drills that corner three uh, opposite end of our bench a um, couple of possessions later he, he's four or five feet off him with a hand down and McVeigh drills the other three so we go from being up three to now down three and again, that's that momentum shift. So, you know, he'll get he'll get that feel for the game back. You know, that's largely what his game is built on, right? Is touch and 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 rhythm and 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 uh, the energy out there. Um, but you know, you run the risk, right? You go, do you sit him out and try and win this game and reset it again next game, or do you roll the dice and go, all right, let's let's see if we can fast track this because now we've got four games rolling into postseason. You know, we still, you know, we're definitely not locked, right? We we still got to win some games to to secure our place in the postseason. But if you leave it too late, you know, um, you know, when's he supposed to get that feel back again? So, um, you know, look, there's some things that needed to happen tonight. It's just unfortunate. Obviously, we didn't get the win with it as well. Every coach you you play for, coach, where they always provide a positive spin to a loss like tonight. What's your positive spin for the guys? Well, that was our full strength lineup, right? And um, I. Full strength, we've only had seven games this year. And I think that sort of doesn't get highlighted uh, enough. So, but that seven games is a losing record. So, you know, we need to uh, find that balance of our rotations and how it works and the lineups that are out there. Um, it's hard, right, at this time of the season because we are getting Keanu back in, who was out for four weeks. Um, but we need to get him gone. And so, yeah, the positive spin is we're a couple of steps forward where we were. Um, again, it would be great to get the win, um, but, you know, he's going to be better for it and we're going to be better for it, and that's what we're building towards. Taj, one for you is the, the physicality tonight was, was, it was tough. It was a finals game. It's, it's what you want out of a basketball game for sure, but how did you think the team and, and yourself handled the intensity Tasmania brought? Uh, it was a one-possession game in the fourth quarter, so I think we did good. They made the winning plays. We didn't. Uh, as bad as we played, in the first half and offensively into the game is winning time. It was tie game or down threes. Whoever could go either way, they made the plays and we didn't. So I think we handled it well. Could have been better, but we had a chance to win the game and we didn't. That's more so what it come down to. And just last one for me, Heritage round as well, Taj, is you know, 
this is big, this is a chance this season from here on in to cement yourself and cement the guys as, you know, people who are going to be remembered forever in Tide Man's history. So, you know, looking forward, this is, you guys are going to be hopefully a lot more positive now and, and just keep on the positive vibes. You won six games, you can turn things around. This isn't the end, obviously, this loss. <laughs> nah, <laughs> we look what, six and one in the last seven. I don't think it's the end, but it's a lot to we we got to learn from and be better at. And uh, it's just another thing we learn how to do. Uh, all our losses this year, we learned something from it. And this one, we gonna learn how to how to play with that type of intensity and that type of physicality, and it, it'll make us better. Uh, we got a lot we figuring out. It's still we we got a couple games to playoffs. That's when it matters. So. Uh, we got to keep keep trying to get better and look at this and just bounce back. Forty, just for you, mate. We're talking about the, the first half pressure. Do you think that open jump makes you vulnerable? What has he brought for the next four games? Letting you defiance? No, no, because I mean, New Zealand had the same type of pressure. Um, a lot of teams will do that, and I mean, that's the scout for us, right? Every team does it, where they're going to try and slow us down and. Um, you know, it, for, for stretches it's effective and then we have those moments where we just open up the floodgates and we run with it. So, um, you know, that first half definitely just, you know, it, we didn't play well either. Like, I don't want to discredit what Tassie did, but there were moments where we just had some, we had 13 turnovers in the first half from very uncharacteristic, um, you know, possessions. You know, we were trying to force the ball where there was no angle to pass it and, um, you know, Tazzy did a hell of a job playing the way they wanted to, but I mean, we also like made an egg in the first half and did not play well. So, um, you know, there's a part where you go, we'll be better for that. But you know, it's uh, it's, it's it's like Taj says, definitely some learning moments from it. But then there's other points where we just need to to be better. Um, and any news on Sam? Has he taken? Yeah, we're getting him for an MRI tomorrow. He just landed awkwardly, um, so. Um, you don't want to be premature in the assumption of things. He's, he seems fine, but so did Keanu, right? And he was out for a stretch. So we'll see what, what, what uh, Doc says tomorrow and, and we'll go from there. And same with Shannon. Obviously, Shannon injured himself here in the second. Did come back on, but still didn't look 100%. Yeah, he had a bit of a stinger, like uh, just landed awkwardly on his side. So um, he'll definitely wake up tomorrow morning a bit hurt, but we've got a couple of days uh, to prepare for South East. So hopefully he's feeling better uh, after that. And Tyler, just for yourself, how do you as a group now regroup after this loss? Do you think it was probably one that you probably needed a little bit to sort of kick your way into finals now? You go, can you step, step back into what you needed to do? No, I don't think we ever need a loss, but uh, there's not no regroup. We was never not together. Uh, mm -hmm. Even in this game, we came back together. Uh, we're never not together. So there's no regroup. It's just move forward. We got we to gotta, we gotta be better. Uh, I think everybody know that. Uh, you hate losing, especially this time of the year. It's, it's, every game matters. Uh, no matter the position we're in, every game matters. Just for your confidence and the way you're flowing into the, the hottest team usually have the best success in the playoffs. So that's what we're trying to strive for. But uh, there's no need to regroup. We just got to keep, keep getting closer together. If I'm good, I think everything's coming. Awesome, thank you. Awesome, thank you. Appreciate you.